Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to another video. And I'm here with updates on the tropics. So we have quite a lot to talk about here. So we have post-tropical cyclone Kyle, we have tropical storm Josephine, and we also have two other areas of disturbed weather newly identified that must be watched. And so before I get into details with all these tropical systems, please ensure to subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you know every time when I post a new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right throughout the hurricane season and you can also follow me on instagram my weather account is weather girl danny and my personal account is danny henry official okay so i just like a view of the atlantic at this time there we have post tropical cyclone kyle we have tropical storm josephine we have that first tropical disturbance and the one just off the coast of africa so we're seeing a lot of tropical activity and it is just bound to get worse as we progress into the peak of the hurricane season so first we want to take a look at kyle so Kyle is post tropical as I said earlier and it still has storm force winds of 40 miles per hour and it is accelerating eastward at 20 miles per hour and so we're expecting that maybe by sometime on Monday the storm dissipates so fortunately not a threat to land so that's the good news and actually Kyle beat the record that was set by Katrina back in 2005 for the earliest um the earliest K name storm actually every storm so far has broken the record of the previous holder and so now with josephine we have it being a tropical storm still but it is expected to become a tropical depression very soon so it has winds of 40 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the west northwest at 15 miles per hour so it should become post tropical maybe by some time on monday and then curve out to sea so only bermuda i'd say would be affected by this and that is by the end of this week when it is very post tropical would it can probably even dissipate by that time so not going to be something significant and so now this first tropical disturbance so this is newly identified and we're seeing that the chance is already at 30 percent guys and so if the favorability persists for tropical development we're definitely expecting to see this chance increasing over time and we're expecting a westward like track from this so it is going to be affecting the lesser antilles and probably jamaica as well as the central american countries and then the next tropical disturbance just emerged off the coast of africa and so when it moves into that shaded region right there um going into the Caribbean um, in the main development region right they were expecting that that is where we could see some tropical developments and as I said for the first one if the favorability persists for tropical development we're definitely going to see this chance increasing and so both of these are at 30% and it seems like these could be back-to-back -back storms for the Caribbean we just have to watch them but as far as conditions are especially for the Saharan dust which is a major factor when it comes on to tropical development we are seeing that it is dissipating and so with this current trend we're expecting that it could be very minimal by the time the system is going to be moving westward and so it is also going to be moving into a region into a region where there isn't much and so that is going to help the storms to intensify and so the next two names on the list for this hurricane season are laura and marco and so guys we're just seeing these name storms just being wiped out we are beating the records set by 2005 storms and so every single storm up to kyle have broken a record of being the earliest name storm on record guys and so we could see this year being the second year where we have to use the Greek alphabet to name storms if the list is exhausted, guys. And so, I will keep giving updates on the tropics as time goes by. And if you found this video to be pretty informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share thoughts in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And remember to always be wise.